Hey friends, Dr. Murphy here. I like to share news stories, right? Uh, I'm gonna start sharing what I call human interest stories. These are from the front page of the Wall Street Journal or it could be the New York Times. It doesn't really matter. They're the less serious stories. They're the ones where you go, really? Seriously? This really happens? Yeah, the answer it does. So today, India frees accused Chinese spy, a racing pigeon. Feathered intruder sparks diplomatic tension and months of detective work. In New Delhi, the spy could have walked out of a John le Carré novel. He was small, innocuous, and blended easily into crowds. But when Indian authorities nabbed him at a port last year, they were convinced that he had committed a crime most foul. The perp wasn't an intelligence spook or undercover diplomat. It was a pigeon. Then we go uh, to the last paragraph. Late last month, the pigeon was freed onto the grounds of the animal hospital after the police gave the green light. No one tried to contact the pigeon sailor in Taiwan or China. Everyone agreed that the pigeon was now an Indian citizen. Quote, the entire Indian sky now belongs to the pigeon, Patel says. Hope it doesn't miss its original home. That's good stuff, right? <laughs>